Hello, in this video we're going to go over evaluation of these two sums. The first sum is sum of n over 3 to the power of n, and the second sum is the sum of n squared over 3 to the power of n. We know how to evaluate these sums if we did not have the numerators. In other words, we know how to evaluate the sum of 1 over 3 to the power of n. So we're going to start with that. We're going to start with the sum of x to the power of n, n equals 0 to infinity. This is a geometric sum and we know the answer is 1 over 1 minus x as long as x is between negative 1 and 1. Looking at the original sums that they gave us, we have a factor of n in the numerator. This n resembles the differentiation of x to the power of n. If you aren't familiar with differentiation and if you would like to see a pre-calculus solution to this one, stick around until the end of the video and I will show you another solution to this problem that does not require any calculus. So back to the solution. If you differentiate both sides, the left side becomes 1 over 1 minus x squared and the right side becomes what we want with the exception that the exponent is n minus 1 and not n. So because of that, we're going to multiply both sides by x to get to x over 1 minus x all squared equals the sum n x squared n equals 1 to infinity. The only thing that is left to do is to replace x by 1 third. And if we do that, we're going to end up with n over 3 to the power of n, the sum of that, n equals 1 to infinity equals 3 fourth. And that's just some simple calculation. Now, we're going to move on to the second sum. In order to get to the second sum, we need another factor of n. So what we can do is we can take the sum of n x to the power of n and differentiate again. And as I said, if you aren't familiar with differentiation and if you would like to see a pre-calculus solution, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So we're going to take that and we're going to differentiate both sides of this. Let's rewrite this to see what we have. We have the sum of n x to the power of n is equal to x over 1 minus x squared. We're going to differentiate both sides. The left side becomes derivative of the numerator, which is 1, times 1 minus x squared minus derivative of denominator, which is 2 times 1 minus x times negative 1 times x. So the negative ones give you a plus 1 and we get the numerator divided by num denominator squared which is 1 minus x to the power of 4. The right side becomes the sum of n squared x to the power of n minus 1. We're going to simplify the left side by factoring a 1 minus x, cancelling by 1 of the minus x uh, in the denominator, we get 1 minus x cubed in the denominator and we're going to get 1 minus x plus 2x in the numerator which is 1 plus x. Now all we are we're going to have to do is to multiply both sides by x and then replace x by one third to get to the final answer of three halves. Now we're going to move on to a solution that does not require calculus. So here is a pre-calculus solution to the problem. Let s be the sum. We are going to multiply both sides by 3. We get 3s equals the sum of n over 3 to the power of n minus 1. n goes from 1 to infinity. I'm going to change n to n plus 1 that gives me the sum n plus 1 over 3 to the power of n, but this time n goes from 0 to infinity. We will break up the sum on the right into two different sums. One of them is the sum of n over 3 to the power of n, and the other one is the sum of 1 over 3 to the power of n. The first sum, sum of n over 3 to the power of n, we could start from 1 to infinity because when n is 0, 0 over 3 to the power of 0 is just 0. So we can drop that term. However, this sum, the sum of n over 3 to the power of n, is exactly what we started with. So this is exactly the same as s. The second sum is a geometric sum, which is the first term, which is 1, over 1 minus common ratio, which is 1 third. And that gives us s plus 3 over 2. So what we got here is 3s is equal to, 3s at the beginning, is equal to s plus 3 halves. Subtracting s from both sides, we get 2s equals 3 halves, and that means the sum is 3 fourth. So this gives us the first sum. Now we move on to the second sum. We are going to do something similar. We let s to be the sum, multiply both sides by 3, replace n by n plus 1, expand the numerator, and break up the sums. The first sum is going to be n squared over 3 to the power of n. That's exactly s. The second sum is going to be 2 times the sum of n over 3 to the power of n. Fortunately, we already evaluated this. And then the last sum is a geometric sum. We evaluated the sum of n over 3 to the power of n to be 3 fourths. Multiplying by 2, we get 3 halves. So we get s plus 3 halves plus 
and the geometric sum is the first term which is 1 divided by 1 minus 1 third which is the common ratio 1 over 1 minus 1 third is going to be 3 halves plus 3 halves that gives you 3 so what we got is 3s is equal to s plus 3 which means s must be 3 halves and that gives me the answer to the problem if you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video comment below and let me know what kinds of videos you like and i will see you in the next video